this wonderful university. Uh, and um, I begin by reflecting on the injustices to another minority, the Aboriginal people of Australia, uh, not in a perfunctory way, not in an insincere way, but like the New Zealanders do, reflecting quietly and thinking about the wrongs that have been done to the Indigenous people of this country, including by the law and on our obligation, if we are Australians, to do what we can in our lives, in whatever power we have, to make things better for the Indigenous people, which is going to mean empowering them economically, because until they are empowered economically, they don't get the housing, they don't get the education, they don't get uh, the um, uh, legal rights, that other people enjoy in this country. Now, you're doing a course on leadership, and um, I'm a bit suspicious about this leadership business, uh, because the history of the century in which I grew up, the 20th century, demonstrates very clearly that leadership is only so good as the place to which you're being led leadership of itself can sometimes be a very dangerous thing. Um, you know that in Germany, Adolf Hitler was der Führer. I studied German at school, <coughs> so my accent is nearly perfect. <laughs> der, der Führer, a little roll at the back of your mouth, umlaut on the U. Uh, and that was Adolf, and he was leading the German people to terrible destruction. Moreover, he was leading the Jewish people in Germany, but not just the Jews, he was leading uh, the Gypsies, the um, Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, and the gays, uh, communists, socialists, to concentration camps and death. So leadership, uh, too much leadership may not be a good thing and in this course you've got to reflect upon um, the mistake that can occur if a people become too obsessed about leadership. In a way it's a slightly immature political view that you've got to have somebody who will take out of your hands where you are going. And uh, at least, possibly, at least this is something for you to think about, whether or not the way that the British Constitution, which evolved, dividing power up, making sure nobody had too much leadership, is messy, but makes for greater liberty. Uh, and I think that's a very important threshold question that you should all be thinking about uh, because um, leaders can sometimes be a great nuisance. Uh, I saw in one of those railway magazines, you know the newspapers you get on railways, you probably disdain them because you're so busy looking at your internet, uh, but uh, they had a, a, a little newspaper and there was a little item about Lech, Lech Valenza. Lech Valenza was the very important Polish leader. He was the one, he was a dock worker in Gdansk, which in Adolf Hitler's time was Danzig in Germany, now Gdansk in Poland. And he led the Solidarity Movement and ultimately he led Poland out of the communist um, orbit uh, and he was a very active person in his religion which the communists had tried to suppress. He was a Roman Catholic, very proud of his religion and Poland is overwhelmingly a Catholic country uh, and he played a very important and instrumental role in freeing uh, Poland from Soviet rule.
which was alien to the Polish people. But in this little tear out that I um, tore out of the railway train newspaper and negligently lost somewhere this morning, uh, Lech Walesa said that gays uh, don't deserve leadership positions. Uh, they certainly shouldn't be in the front bench. They should be in the back bench, if not behind a wall. Now, I don't know why he should mention <coughs> a wall and why you have to go behind a wall, but uh, that was what this very considerable leader said. And therefore, his leadership was very precious and valuable to Poland when he was leading them out of the thrall of Soviet domination and rule, and Communist Party, command economy. But today, he's putting forward a point of view which is very disparaging about uh, a minority in his country. So I only like leaders if they're going where I want to go. And I think that is a sort of mental reservation you've got to have in your mind about all this talk about leadership. And you may come to the conclusion at the end of this course that it's been a terrible waste of time because you don't want to know about leadership at all. In fact, you're suspicious of the dangers of leadership and you should keep leadership under firm control. The control of a thousand voices, of a million voices, in Australia 20 million voices, and not allow anybody to go usurping from us, the citizens, our idea of where we want to go, not surrendering it to where they want to take us, okay?